Hey, what's up guys and welcome to Xbox On. Now, one of the things that I absolutely love doing is unlocking as many achievements and earning as much gamer score as possible. Yes, and did you guys know that you can download a bunch of free trials on your Xbox One, which let you unlock loads of achievements for free? So here are our top eight. Let's kick off with a quick and easy 100G in Starpoint Gemini. This space simulator plays a bit like Elite Dangerous with more of a focus on the story, but while it's a tale of expert pilots, this achievement is earned with some less than expert flying. The achievement is called Ground Zero and is earned by crashing into a planet. This is easily achieved. You load the game up in free roam mode and you'll find yourself near a massive planet. Double tap the right trigger to push all the power to the engines and aim yourself at the surface. As you approach, your onboard computer will halt your progress to give you a chance to save yourself. No need for that. Just double tap the right trigger again and keep on going. Your ship will burn up in the atmosphere. Yeah, it's humiliating, but at least you have 100 achievement points to show for it. Of course, you could redeem yourself by opting to buy the full game and claiming the other 900 with better flying. The Brilliant Recall has a 30 minute free trial which allows you to add 140 achievement points as you go. Not bad considering it's totally free to do. Now I got most of my achievements in one particular segment near the beginning. Once you're inside the cave and get taught how to extract cores, you'll have a segment where you'll be attacked by quite a few enemies which is the perfect chance to reel in those achievements. Start by getting a nice combo going with your attacks, say 5 or 6, and you'll see an option come up to do an instant extraction. Follow its advice and BAM! 30 Gs. Next achievement is called Yoink and it's very similar to the last one. You basically have to remove a core, but it's more of a tug of war contest. Keep an eye on the rope and try to keep it from going red and eventually their core will be yours along with 10 G. The next one I got by accident, but I'm never one to turn down 30 G. The trick to get it yourself is to get a blue enemy's health low and then press Y, which gets your robot doggy pal to do the dirty work for you. I didn't think dogs could get any better with their adorable faces and loving ways, but apparently they can up your gamer score too. The next achievement you pop by getting into lots of fights as your dog will eventually level up in the process. You'll want to hurry along a bit to make sure you get the last two in your strict 30 minute time frame. Basically, once you complete the beginning chapter, you'll get an achievement and once you're back in your bunker and follow the instructions on how to craft a part for your pup, you'll also get an achievement. Phew! And there you have it. 140 achievement score in 30 minutes for free. Nightmares from the Deep is a hidden object game with a generous chunk of story to explore in its free trial. The first achievement you want to grab is Playtime for finishing a minigame in under a minute. It's very easy to unlock this safe puzzle in that time. What you must not do is choose to skip any of the minigames the game gives you, as there is an achievement called Lucky Roll for finishing three puzzles without skipping any of them. As long as you don't opt out of any puzzles in the game, this will unlock in the first 30 minutes of play. One of the harder achievements to get is called Clocked. A tasty 75 points is on offer to anyone who can solve a hidden object image in less than a minute. The trick to this is to play on casual difficulty as it means you can just spam the picture with the clicks with no punishment for errors. Just move the cursor around the image clicking rapidly and you'll easily solve the first hidden object round in the given time. Finally, there is 50G on offer for beating three Mahjong minigames without reshuffling them. You access Mahjong games by pressing down on the D-pad during a hidden object round. The aim is to match tiles based on their images. If it looks as if you're going to fail, you can quit out and reload the game to take a second swing at it. But they shouldn't prove too much trouble, just those together give you 200G in about 30 minutes. But there are extra points on offer for beating Mahjong in under a minute and for finishing a hidden object puzzle with fewer than five mistakes. It's an achievement haul even a pirate would be proud of. Trackmania Turbo is a fast-paced, action-filled racing game which will see you flying leaps and bounds in your sporty little number. There's also a whole bunch of achievements you can unlock in the free trial, so make sure to speed through extra fast so you can hoover them all up. The first achievement you can grab is in the very first race. There's a big old jump that, as you can see, you don't even have to land properly, and it will net you a cool 10G for jumping 500 meters. At the end of the race, you'll unlock another achievement. One race down, 199 to go. The second race allows you to pick up the burnt rubber achievement, as there's the perfect road to drift yourself 400 meters to sweet, sweet victory. Make your way over to the third race, which has an awesome loop-de-loop -loop powered by speed boosts, which will help you net the achievement brakes? 
aka you're going really, really fast and maybe you should think about slowing down. The next achievement is a little more time consuming, but worth it because you'll unlock yourself a rare achievement. Pick any level. I went with the first one as it's super short and redo it five times, making sure you never beat your first ghost car. Yes, it's annoying having to be purposefully repeatedly rubbish, especially because I messed up my first lap's landing and had to watch the painful spectacle over and over again, but the 10 Gs should hopefully soothe the pain a bit. If anyone is going to appreciate taking an easy shortcut to a great reward, it's the lazy hero of Kung Fu Panda Showdown. This fighting game takes many cues from Smash Brothers, and even though its free trial only offers up a single stage, there are loads of achievements to be had. For starters, just read a character bio to earn 40G for no charge for attractiveness. Next up, you need to pull off an awesome move to earn Skadoosh. You charge your awesome bar, that blue line under your health, by landing hit. Just load up a match against a CPU character, set their difficulty to easy and pummel them until you have enough points to trigger the move and earn another 40G. There is also 160G up for grabs by winning a certain number of each mode type, and all of them can be won against a single CPU fighter. The key to speeding through these is to go into options and set the win conditions as low as possible. Set time matches to one minute and set stock matches to one life each. It will still take some grinding to win 10 or 5 rounds of each game mode, but it's really easy path to Kung Fu mastery. Of course, you could spice things up by playing each match type against a human opponent, but why leave anything to chance? You wouldn't do that. Now, Cast of the Seven Godsends is a weird one because it's not a case of raking in lots of little achievements, but actually powering through until you get one big one. Seven Godsends is an old school side scrolling arcade beat em up, which, if you're old enough to remember Streets of Rage like I do, will bring back all kinds of classic gaming memories. In true old school style gaming, it's also ridiculously hard and will bring you all kinds of frustration. Fear not though, because if you power through, you'll net yourself a glorious 100G achievement, which makes the pain all worthwhile. To get it, you'll need to make your way across the levels, killing all who dare to cross your path and also most likely getting killed yourself self in the process. Eventually, you'll reach this large chap with the tusks. Time your jumps and attacks just right and you'll defeat him, which will unlock the Beast Tamer achievement. It's also worth noting that I unlocked Adaptation, aka use every kind of weapon, which is one of those annoying 1G achievements. So for everyone out there who hates having an uneven gamer score, make sure not to hoover up every weapon you see. Now, where's a 99G achievement when you need one? Claiming easy achievements from the free trial of Tron Run makes you feel like one of the game's characters, breaking into a computer to take home a prize. We managed to earn 295G from playing the first two levels of the game's disc mode. For starters, you can earn Dead Pixel by playing the first track and not destroying any barricades. Just dodge the walls all the way to the end for an easy 50G. Next up, play through the second level. As long as you pick up the majority of the icons and shoot most of the enemies, you will easily get a two-star score and unlock the battle for the ISOs achievement, netting 20G. Now that you've earned a bit of currency, return to the first stage and purchase a companion. It doesn't matter which one you pick. Now just replay the level without taking any hits to get best companion Marv for keeping your companion alive for the whole level. While doing this, you can earn 75G for comboing an entire level from beginning to end. You just need to make sure to collect every icon and shoot all the enemies to keep the combo going. Finally, you want to replay level 1 and purchase the data wiper disc from the customization screen. When you start the level, you'll pass through two sets of columns. Set off the disc here and you will destroy all the columns and earn 100G for Bite Blaster, aka destroying 20 barricades at once. For the final cherry on top, customize your character's look for a final 10G. That has to be the easiest and cheapest 295G in Xbox history. Dead or Alive 5 is pretty much the perfect opportunity to get loads of achievements for free with no time limit. So the way Dead or Alive 5 works is that the bare bones of the game are free, but if you want all the bells and whistles, such as more characters, you'll have to shell out extra. Fear not though, because there is a frankly ludicrous amount of achievements you can get without spending a penny. In a fairly short space of time, I got 250 gamer score and 18 satisfying achievement pops. Now, I won't detail every single one because we don't have all day, but I'll give you an idea of just how easy they are. 
Simple things like playing a versus match and a tag match will pop and unlock. You can create your own lobby online, which takes seconds and there is a rare achievement to beat. Clearing survival modes on easy is a breeze, and in the process you'll probably unlock I read every move, which is an achievement you get for taking no damage during a fight. Displaying the move list, looking at the move details, and saving the replay of a fight will also net you more numbers for your score and doesn't even require any kind of fighting knowledge. A nice way of bagging three achievements in a row is to play in spectator mode, take a photo in that mode, and then to go and view your photo in the extra section. That's literally three rare achievements you can unlock in under 60 seconds. Speaking of which, if you like the extra fancy unlock noise you get when you unlock a rare achievement, then you're in for a treat. Out of the 18 that I unlocked, 10 of them were rare. And remember, if you're struggling at all with winning those matches, just put everything on rookie mode and button bash to your heart's content. Or, you know, practice and get good at the combos. Either way, you'll be achievement richer by the end of it. And isn't that all that really matters? So there we have it. Let us know in the comments what your favorites are. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. And don't forget to smash that like button if you enjoyed this video and check out last week's list show whilst you're at it. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.